Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. We've got some new Easter Jazzwares figures. Looks like people have been finding these out at Target and at Five Below. At Target, you're gonna have the two packs featuring Pikachu and then some other Pokemon like Blossom or Bulbasaur, where Five Below is gonna be carrying the singles of Pikachu in a few different versions, carrying different berries and a Togepi. So get out there, happy hunting if you're going for these. I like the like green packaging on it. Last week, there was also a leaked photo of potentially the next Pokemon Center Pearlescent Funko Pop. We've got this image of Pichu. Now, I don't know if this is the next one or if maybe somebody just made like a really good fake Funko Pop. So definitely take this one with a little bit of like a grain of salt there because I mean, one, it looks like this guy like took a photo in his basement. I'm not exactly sure where this photo even popped up from. And on the Pokemon Center site for these Funkos, the next one looks like it's supposed to be a fire type. So not saying that this photo's fake, but I don't know. Maybe it's just really ahead of its time. I am hoping though that if this next one is the fire type, hoping for Arcanine, but it's Pokemon, so we're probably gonna get Charizard. Hot off the truck over at Entertainment Earth. We've got a couple new model kits. So we've got this really cool Greninja model kit and it's all posable and everything. So after you build it, it's like basically a figure. And then same thing goes for this other one of the Mewtwo model kit. So really cool that you can like snap this all together and you basically just built your own action figure. The English Pokemon Center did have a really good week last week. So we got quite a few new things like this Bear Walker skateboard featuring Charizard. This is probably the best design I think he's come out with uh, in the whole time he's been doing Pokemon ones. I've seen some of his other work and I feel like it's way better than the Pokemon ones. But it's kind of funny because I was literally thinking like that same day I'm like, I haven't had a new Bear Walker in a while. So here we are. The Charizard is limited to 750 copies. It is sold out as of now, so if you wanted it, hopefully you were able to get it. But definitely was a, was a surprise. And was also a surprise, we got a whole new kitchen line from Pokemon Center. This is a whole Pokemon themed line featuring Pikachu on all of the items. And surprisingly that it's Pokemon and Pokemon Center, it's actually, they're all pretty good prices for con like all things considered. It's all still available, so if you need to load up for any of the holidays and then this way you can bust out the real fancy dishes so you can impress your company still up there on Pokemon Center. We also got two new plushies. We got Faragariff and Flittle. These were released in Japan uh, kind of, I think, like a couple months ago, but they did make their way over to the English side, obviously. The Fergaraf is 14 and a half inches tall and the Flittle is eight and a quarter inches tall. So these are pretty good sized plushies and they both start with an F. We also got the latest in the Pokemon Delicious Adventure line, which is one, one of the best names. But two, we have Ditto snacking on some pewter crunchies here. The figure's about two inches tall, so it's just kind of like a little guy, but it is super cute. On the Japanese side of things, we got some new Psycho Soda. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I like to say it that way. Plushies. This latest wave brings us the Kanto First Partners. So Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur in this very stylized representation of the Pokemon with the different face and those like oversaturated colors. I think it's a really cool line. I like really like the look of this. And they've been doing these for a while, so I'll make sure to link those and anything else I can down in the description for you if you want to increase your collection or maybe you're buying a gift for somebody. Also in Japan, we got a new figure collection, and this is probably one of my favorites because I love the theme here. This is all the miniature torso figure collection. I blame Google for the translation there, but it's a lot of the more like recent, very popular trainers on these, and it's like a like a model coat rack looking thing, but it's like their whole main outfit on there, and then each one of these figures comes with an acrylic cutout of one of the more iconic Pokemon that that trainer uses. So I just love the creativity of this set. Like, it's so good. And I really hope that they keep bringing us more trainers because I don't feel like the trainers get enough love, but lately they have been and I'm loving it. But speaking of trainers, the Scale World figures, very popular. There's two new sets coming out. So we've got Silver with his Croconaut and Sneasel. Plus we also have a set featuring Lyra with Bayleaf, Natu, and Smoochum. These figures are not posable, but they are really cool. And I love that they all are just proportionate to each other. So whatever they actually are in the Pokedex, like they'll be that tall comparatively to each other. Both sets release on June 30th. So if you've been waiting to uh, add these Pokemon and these trainers to your collection, it's coming up real soon. Also over on Amazon, we have a new Loungefly bag. This is the Jolteon cosplay bag. And I do love that the actually made it a little bit more interesting than just slapping a character on the front of it. So there's actual lightning bolts in the background, adding a little extra detail to the bag. And I'm always, as always, a sucker for some good design on the interior lining. So this is a pretty good bag. I think 
all of it, the typical $80 for a lounge fly, and that's over up on Amazon. For the cards, the next set, after Temporal Forces, has had its name revealed. So this May, we are gonna be getting Twilight Masquerade for the English TCG. The set comes out on May 24th and will feature cards from the Japanese sets Crimson Haze and Mask of Change. There's no logo or artwork yet, but the name itself does strongly suggest that Ogre Pond is going to be a main focal point in the set. And because it's Ogre Pond, I am curious if there will be a new gimmick introduced with these cards. And speaking of introductions, let me introduce you to the new color from vault -X on their binders. This is the mint green vault -X binder. It's now available in the four pocket, nine pocket and 12 pocket versions. Plus there is a deck box in this set as well. Now I actually have a ton of these binders for all of my sets and is my leading choice in binders. So, and is my leading choice in binders. So for you, Pokemaniacs down in the description, if you use my link or use my code at checkout, either one of those, you'll get 10% off your whole order. And it's good like multiple times, so like, keep using it. Then, speaking of new releases, we're getting two new boxes in the TCG. We've got the Mabostif EX collection box. This box is gonna be coming with a regular Mabostif EX, a jumbo of that same card, a hollow Mastiff, four packs of cards, and a code card for $22. Then we have the Combined Powers Premium Collection, which includes three EX cards of Lugia, Ho-Oh, and Suicune, three hollow tool cards, one hollow Mr. Mime, a Jumbo Lugia EX, and 11 packs of cards, all for about 60 bucks, so that one's gonna be a little bit more of an investment. Then on February 27th, which is Pokemon Day, it's creeping up on us real fast. It's like, that's, it's like less than a week away. But on that day, the Empire State Building is going to feature all sorts of different illumination on the building for Pokemon Day, specifically celebrating the premiere of Pokemon Horizons. In addition to this event, Pokemon's actually also donating $10,000 to the Toy Foundation. And then thanks to Joe Merrick for bringing this to everyone's attention. But fun fact, the Empire State Building was originally designed to have like a docking station for airships or blimps uh, as they came through. And then in Pokemon Horizons, they travel around in an airship. So there's kind of a correlation there. And I did fact check this and that is true about the Empire State Building. No airship ever actually docked with the building because as they were designing it, I mean, there was some tragedies that happened with blimps, but then also they just realized that it wasn't like very feasible. So they just transformed it into a television and radio tower. The more you know. Then a big leak coming out of San Francisco. The San Francisco Business Times released some reports that the Pokemon World Championships is coming to San Francisco in 2026. It's gonna be at the Moscone Center. I've never been there, I don't know if I said that right. But apparently the Pokemon Company International booked out 21,000 hotel room nights, and these rooms would be for competitors and staff to attend the event. But it's kind of crazy uh, that they booked these things that far out. We don't even know what the 2025 location is, but we should hopefully find that out this year in the 2024 World Championships, which are based in Hawaii, which is super cool. But hey, maybe, uh, I mean, San Francisco seems pretty uh, tangible for me, uh, but maybe 2026, we're doing a big meetup there. I don't know. But hopefully you won't have to wait that long to see me in a new video. So make sure you are subscribed so you can get that. Uh, we're trying to post at least weekly here on the channel. Make sure we keep up to date on all of the news. Be sure to check out any past videos up here. Take care of each other out there. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next one.